Hello everyone and welcome back once again with some 3D content as you can see a set of horns. So this is something that I have uh, thought about for a bit. Um, yeah, this is basically just um, another test for me to see if the modeling way that I have thought about uh, works and um, one of the first mistakes that you can see right now is I actually didn't check which um, uh, which uh, viewport I was working in so I was working in the front viewport when I meant to work in the side viewport um, for those of you who do um, wh who work in, in uh, 3d content creation um, yeah, uh, either you already know this mistake or in this case um, try to avoid this um, I mean, it didn't cost me that much time but uh, yeah so the base model of the horn actually didn't take this long um, this is a bit of uh, playing around with a new feet uh, with, with a few uh, feats and, and a few tricks um, I'm using the um, extrude tool to extrude the lines around the base horn shape and um, yeah by then just scaling them up I got this uh, very interesting shape the whole thing is a bit um, weird at the at the uh, um, tip of the horn so there's a lot of um, actual clipping with itself in this spot but yeah there, there's a point where you just can't fix it more what I'm doing right now is I'm using the smoothing option or the the, the uh, relax UV option for the for the UV actually so what it does is it basically just um, helps me to uh, yeah reduce the UV um, clipping a bit so basically that the UV map is, is, is cutting over itself and uh, this would look weird in the end so what it does is basically it, it, it straightens out every uh, the, the crossing lines and it makes them not cross yeah um, then I took the time to just mm, edit the shape of the actual horns a bit more and you can see that the horns actually stick out quite a lot from the uh, head this is due to the fact that usually my models will have um, will have hair and this is basically um, to uh, yeah cope with the fact that I want the horns to stick out from the hairs as well so at some point which you don't see in the video I uh, actually sat down and checked um, the clipping with the different hair sets I had I loaded them in and checked how much the horns would stand out and uh, this is basically the design that I uh, kept yeah right now I'm working on uh, the ornaments and the adornments for the uh, um, uh, for the horns so I looked into yeah different stuff I looked at, at some characters from World of Warcraft I looked at um, a few pictures uh, that I had lying around on my PC I um, looked at jewelry in general um, to come up with something that or to come up with um, a few new ideas as well as a few ideas that I already uh, did yeah and this is basically one of the newer ideas where I have this uh, kind and uh, it's a very simple shape in the end um, and I cut the UV in, into two parts the outer part um, and the inner part um, use the relax function for a very brief moment before I just um, yeah was was happy with with the result and um, then I placed the whole thing around the horn before I copy pasted it and uh, so it's copy pasted scaled down and then um, set into each other there's obviously a bit of clipping with the horn and um, it's thankfully on the inside so that um, it's not really that good that well visible I also imported the uh, chains as well and then I went to actually make a new kind of um, uh, emblem or, or um, uh, 
yeah, a new kind of, of, of jewelry on it. Um, this is, again, this is just playing around with, with the options, playing around with, with the extrusion tool, um, with other stuff to just see what's actually possible, what, what, what works, what doesn't work. And, uh, yeah. Um... I also decided to use the uh, line tool here and just uh, give this a um, yeah an additional uh, shape. Just give it a bit more depth without um, without overdoing this, without um, uh, overcomplicating things. And interesting part uh, here is that uh, when I edit uh, when, when I use the connect tool to add more uh, lines it actually reconnected the uh, the uh, disconnected uh, edges so I had to uh, uh, disconnect them twice and not a big problem at all but uh, interesting enough to notice that this was a thing I uh, didn't expect that to happen so uh, good to know um, yeah for the second side I, I thought about um, doing some kind of really tight ring around it that's basically fitted to the horn but um, I tried to copy paste the uh, whole thing and it didn't really work it was really um, deformed and, and dis disformed so uh, dislocated so I decided to go with something that you see me use by now very often it's, it's another chain with a few hopes on it um, I actually at this point decided that uh, this would be um, a um, a jewelry that would hurt if you, if you, if it wore, wore you, if we wore it long it would just click on your head the whole time so I decided to to redo it and I added all the necessary maps at this point or some of the necessary maps. Um, you can also see the reference um, in the in the edge here. I used um, yeah, this is this is uh, the uh, one of the references that I used. Um, just decided to put that in there, let you let you actually see what I'm what I'm working with. So this is um, a World of Warcraft reference that I that I just uh, chose to use from the newest expansion. <laughs> uh, not going to make any. Uh, I hope this is not uh, seen as. Uh, as advertisement <laughs> um, but this is basically how I use how I, where I pull my references usually um, some yeah either some game or, or in, in, in general um, yeah so I also used the line tool to make a curved line for the um, uh, for the for the chain here and this is actually basically uh, the whole thing that you see. Um, I then decided, uh, I tried to make a um, connecting chain between the horns, um, but uh, this is not visible in the, in the final product, as you can see at the end and at the render, uh, at the start, at the render at the end. Um, because when I did this, I obviously had Genesis to female not in the uh, uh, not visible, and this uh, yeah, this this basically produced um, the fact that um, the chain would have clipped through the hair and through the skull. So uh, I removed this uh, when I saw this in uh, Des and in, in studio in the studio in the end. Yeah. Um, as you can see, I did the UV maps, but I didn't do the uh, the materials. So right now, I'm just adding the materials to everything. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys around.